What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you haven't seen, we've got a team of three brilliant baseball minds, and myself, putting together weekly blog posts over on the Simple Sabermetrics website. I realized that I haven't given a ton of love to the cool things going on over there on the channel here. So in today's post, we're going to cover the top five viewed blog posts on the website since we started doing this last summer. Of course, links to all the posts will be in the description down below. But before we jump into it guys, if you enjoy the content you're seeing on this channel and you want to continue to see more of it, it'd mean a lot if you'd click that subscribe button. I'm a numbers guy, and only about 30% of the people who watch these videos are actually subscribed. So show your support by clicking the subscribe button down below. We're off here today with number five. The title of this post is What I Think I Know About Weighted Balls by Dimitri Kokoris. Dimitri is a good buddy of mine who's been featured on the channel in the past, and was recently promoted to the rehab pitching coach for the Toronto Blue Jays. He's one of the smartest dudes I know when it comes to programming pitcher workload and understanding the way the body moves throughout the delivery. In this post, Dimitri dives into his experience using weighted balls. He covers the pros of using them as well as a look into what the implementation process should and shouldn't look like. And if you don't want to take his word for it, at the end of the article he provides you all with a ton of resources to dive deeper into the studies done on this topic. This is just one of the awesome articles Dimitri has put together, which all stems from the years of experience he has as both a collegiate and professional pitching coach. Now on to number four. This article is called Building a Player Development System for Your Program by Adam Shook. Adam was with me when I was at Iowa, and he's now a development coach with the Orioles. In this article, he explains the test retest model and its applications on player development. A lot of times in this channel, we spend time focusing on one specific topic and how you can understand, interpret, and apply that individual piece of information. But in this post, Adam does a great job explaining the full-scale systems you can use to start improving, and more importantly, measuring your player development process. Next, number three. Our third most viewed article is by Sam Bornstein. It's called StatCast Data Manipulation in R, and is the first post in a series of posts Sam's been putting together on data analysis. In each post, Sam provides you with a data set, the exact lines of code you need, as well as pictures and explanations for how you can begin coding on your own. I've seen a ton of cool things online about coding, some of it related to baseball, but this series of posts is incredible for gaining some baseball specific coding knowledge, especially for beginners. Now on to number two. This post was just recently published on the site by Adam Shook, titled Spin Efficiency, More Than Just a Number. This article was a really cool one because it came about one day when the four of us were chatting on a Zoom about a unique graph Adam had put together regarding the possibility that spin efficiency changes as each pitch travels to the plate. And by the way, this post was so fire that it was actually featured on Driveline's weekly email, Thunder Nuggets, the week it was released. After looking at that graph and a few different high-speed videos for about an hour, we began questioning everything we knew about pitch design while trying to imagine the real-world applications of what we may have just stumbled onto. If you're a fan of the blog and you haven't read this post yet, I definitely recommend checking it out. There will definitely be a follow-up post to this one posted on the channel sometime soon, so be sure to check back on that in the future. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the top Simple Sabermetrics blog post of the year goes to Sam Bornstein in his work on his first ever post on the site titled Data Driven Decisions. This piece was a hit because it truly embodied everything that Simple Sabermetrics is about. It wasn't just talking about what the data is available in our game today, rather it covered how it can make an impact and why it's so important to use when making big decisions. The last line of this post reads, data supports decisions, and I absolutely love that. The use of all this data isn't meant to replace what has been done for years, rather to refine the process we have in place for evaluating and training our athletes. Of course, we can credit a lot of this post's success due to the fact that it was featured on Driveline Thunder Nuggets. If you don't already subscribe to that newsletter, I'd highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down to that in the description as well. And that's our list, the top five Simple Sabermetrics blog posts so far over on the website. Adam, Dimitri, and Sam have been doing a great job putting together incredibly useful posts every single week. Please check out the blog if you haven't already, and if you've been a loyal reader since we started this thing last year, let me know in the comments section here what kind of posts you'd like to see in the future. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.